Well, now we know if you have to hit the roads, be very, very careful. Prepare for a chance of an icy drive by packing a few extra items with you. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is joining us live with the early warning weather tracker to show us how to prepare a winter emergency kit. Roger. Hey Denise, first and foremost, you can see I'm definitely not dressed for this weather and that's for effect because a lot of drivers make this same mistake. They think about where they're going and not about the journey itself and what they would do if something goes wrong. So first and foremost, you need to really have items in your car that keep you warm in case again, you get stranded on the highway. So we're talking about a warm coat and boy, I feel uh, better already. I can tell you that talking about a nice warm hat, gloves. We definitely love hand warmers here at channel three. A nice heavy blanket's a good idea. And with that same point in mind, you really should bring a first aid kit with any medication that you need, again, just in case you get stuck somewhere. And maybe one of the biggest things you can have, of course, is a cell phone charger. You definitely wanna have power uh, as you drive around and if you get stuck anywhere. Also, in the early morning weather tracker, we always have one of these handy, an ice scraper, as well as a brush. Can really get you out of a bind. And jumper cables, could help yourself out or you could help out another driver. Again, if something goes wrong on the highways, the icer is a good idea and also a heavy duty flashlight and make sure that the uh, batteries are working before you go out of your vehicle or take it to your vehicle. Also, just in case you get in a wreck or you have some kind of issue, things like this. We have a collapsible traffic cone and then also a small so uh, snow shovel with some abrasive here like kitty litter or sand that can help you get out of any kind of trouble. So again, we're going to be going up and down the state during winter storm Yoshi. We hope that you don't have to do that, but if you do take some time and make sure you're prepared. Reporting live outside the early warning weather tracker. I'm Roger Susanen, channel three eyewitness news. All right. Thank you. Nicely done, Roger. I think I would add a bottle of water or two and maybe some little snack if you get hungry.